obviously the way in which everybody, you know, what's going on here is very complicated. And what's strange is they're all minutes away from being slaughtered. And as odd as this might sound, dying is the most merciful thing they'll ever experience. So we're here to bear witness and to share their stories, to share the footage, to give them water, and to give them a little bit of compassion before they're, um, before they're killed. Thank you so much, Officer Paul. We appreciate you. So everyone, please listen to Officer Paul and keep each other safe out here because we don't want anybody to get hurt. Where we have a working relationship with the police department because we're not here you know, causing problems, yelling and screaming and making their job difficult. They said, well, we'll help, we'll work with you. We'll make everything, we'll come out here, we'll make sure the trucks stop, you guys can have two minutes. And we created this wonderful relationship that we have. We only get about two minutes for these truck. And I've talked to people, it's like, you know, be, you know, vigils aren't worth it. You know, you get two minutes with a truck and it's, you know, it's a lot of effort, it's emotionally taxing and you're not gonna end animal agriculture at a vigil, which is true, we're not. And, but the reason we're here is to offer those two minutes to those animals. And to us, two minutes may seem small and insignificant. Like, imagine how big those two minutes are. These people have the biggest hearts of, of any group I've ever met in my entire life. So, I love these people. And we're here every night because, not only for the pigs, but for each other. Because sometimes it gets more overwhelming uh, for us to be here and you need to rely on your friends. It was just so inspiring to see so many people out here for so long in inclement weather, whether it's super hot or cold or rainy. And it's just very motivating to see this, that this much love out here for the animals and trying to show support. For anybody new, we throw up the peace sign to truck drivers, workers, cars passing by to show that we're here with compassion. That's our main reason here is to have compassion and give love to the pigs. We're not an aggressive movement. So we're here, we put peace symbols just to, so as a reminder, people know that we're here with compassion. You know, you can see the video, but it's so much different to come out here and actually be face to face with one of these creatures. And it really, you make a connection with these animals when you're in person. You know, a lot of them, you can see that their spirit is just broken. We don't know how long they've been on the road. We don't know how awful it was for them because they've never been on a moving a moving vehicle, you know, crammed in there, because they try to get as many pigs as they can in there, so there's over a hundred pigs on each one of these trucks. about the propensity for their range of emotions and their propensity to feel pain as well. It's exactly the same as ours, and how we can inflict that on another species is, is actually beyond me. I, I mean, they just have such incredible intelligence and forgiveness as well, and I think that's the thing that saddens me the most, that these are animals that if you put them in a different environment, they behave completely differently when they're taken out of their fear and out of their suffering, and they're so ready to forgive the human species. Again, I think it's just a question of us honouring these animals and saying sorry to them at the time and, um, and just hoping that little by little our actions can make a big difference. It's really interesting. There's a real interesting power here because uh, you're giving water to an animal that can't be saved and it's going inside and will be slaughtered within hours um, or less and I think there's a strange power with 
making eye contact and being this close, as close as I am to your camera. Back up, please. Please back up. These vigils are not, they're not easy, they're not pleasant, they're not clean. Here comes a truck. And um, so the people who come here are brave. Like this is commitment, you know? And there's one of the best things that comes from these vigils is the way the community is galvanized around it. 